ingenious plan to take over the minds of the world. Why didn't you just take over my mind and make me give you my money? Ah, you see, the teenage mind is the single hardest mind to control. Half of it is already much. And the other half won't listen to anybody. Oh, Doc, sorry, dude. I was zoning there for a minute. You know, that invention of yours is just too tubular to even figure out. Thank you. I, I mean, what makes it work? Is it magic? Cool. W what is it, an earring? No, it's a one-of-a-kind prototype microchip made of pure platinum. You know, if anything was to happen to that... Like this? Don't do that! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> if you were to lose that, it would ruin my entire plan. Oh, oh, Doc, dude, you know what else could just ruin your plan? Mm. Ah! Silverstone! Cutting! Yes, well, it's your mistake, Silverstone. You may have the chip, but I have you, and we're 50 feet above the snow with no possible way out of this chair. <laughs> Except... Straight. Down! Geronimo! Start to kill him! Start to kill him! Use a glass. <laughs> Nana, what are you doing up? It's 2.30 in the morning. I do my best feeling sorry for myself at this time. Dad told me you quit your job. I'm sorry. I know how much it meant to you. <laughs> but hey, you'll get another one in no time. <laughs> I learned a big lesson today. You look like a dinosaur, think like a dinosaur, and quack like a dinosaur. Chances are you're a dinosaur. What'd you do with my Nana? That's not her talking. No, it's me, Jet. Just not a very pretty me. For the first time in my life, I feel old and useless. It's like my whole life, all of my experience, never amounted to a, a hill of beans. <laughs> what are you smiling at? You. You think you slick. <laughs> you almost got me. You almost got me feeling sorry for you. <laughs> Listen, Nana. If you weren't in your own shoes right now, you'd be seeing this a whole lot clearer. The truth is, being young and being old have a lot in common. Oh, so you're giving me advice now. If you'll listen, I was taught by the best. Whether it's too old or too young, someone always has an excuse for not giving us a shot. The question is, do we let it go with that? Or do we stand up and make them take notice? Stretcher. I still had my office key, so I let myself in. I can see that. I guess you're surprised to see me here, being as how I quit and all. Matter of fact, I am. 
It seems I, well, I, I, I made Dr. it. Dr. Stevens, I apologize for the way I acted yesterday, quitting on you like that. Oh. Please, Mrs. Jackson, just but let I, me. I, I just think you need to realize that I could know a thing or two. Miss Coretta, are you done? I've said what I came to say. Okay, good, because it's my turn. Miss Mitchell called this morning to tell me that she didn't have to take Luke to the hospital for those tests. You were right. It was motion sickness. And you're a candid ginger. Well, I took care of it. Would you repeat that? I said Miss Mitchell called this no, morning. No, no, just the you were right part. Oh, um, well, you were right. And you were also right about the baby's gas pains. And I even heard you on Glue JB and Kayla. So what I'm trying to say, Miss Jackson, is I made a mistake. I did judge you on your age, and I didn't give you a fair chance. And I shouldn't have done that, because you clearly have something to offer, something that I'd be a fool to ignore. Will you give me a chance to prove it? Will you come back to work? Stone, I'm glad you're here. I owe you an apology. I was wrong in thinking you were too young to do the job. You showed great ability. That I did. And Artemis, I was impressed with the way you skied. You mean for an old dude? No, for any dude. I underestimated you. I suppose our lack of knowledge for one another created our wrong impressions. That's true. Come to think of it, I really don't know that much about you. I like it that way. Sometimes familiarity breeds contempt. <laughs> what are you talking about? The more I get to know you, the more I like you. Take the skiing thing. Who oh, no. knew? I coached the national team for three years. I was also part of the scientific team that originated snowboarding. Get out of town. Mm -hmm. Snowboard too? I can still teach you a thing or two. Man, I will blow you off the hill. Not the way your weight is unneedly distributed. Even Hypnoto was catching up to you. What? I had him right where I wanted him. I knew the snowbank was there. Who took Hypnoto out? Who grabbed the microchip? Okay, I don't want to know anything more about you. 